the first one's all about what else do I need to do, yeah. right? If you feel like you've already done everything you need to do and you don't really care what they say, they would just be playing a game with you, then yeah, go date. You should, but you should date anyway. You yeah. really should. Because you might find, I had one case where I had um, a colleague of mine who thought they were undervalued and they went out and dated and got some counter offers and it was less than what they were making. And so they, they came back and said, oh, well, actually, I, I guess I am doing okay yeah and they learn to learn to appreciate their job more yeah. after that interesting so the market will tell you a lot if if you can't get another offer maybe you're maybe you've you're actually in a good place mm -hmm. um, but if you're getting a whole bunch of great offers that are you know twenty thousand more or whatever yeah you need to go back and have some that gives you some options okay. and some leverage all right we have time for one more we do okay here we go. You ready? I'm ready. Are you Are you ready? <laughs> I think so. Dear Workplace Therapist, several years ago, I joined a Fortune 100 B2B corporation. I have come to the realization that I am in a toxic workplace and that the day-to-day -day challenges I face have inspired me to learn more about the connections between the modern-day corporation and physical mental illness in society. I'm hoping you can recommend some reading material for me to dive in and sw scratch this itch. I recently completed uh, Johan Henry. Oh, you guys. That's an author. Lost Connections. I'm sorry, Johan. I butchered your name. Which explored the history of diagnosing de depression and the recent research exploring the link between anxiety, depression, and how the modern workplace is a significant contributor to the believed situational causes of both. Sincerely looking to learn. Mm -hmm.